What's up guys, this is Solar Flare YGO and today I'm bringing you my Appliance Air Tri Brigade combo tutorial. I've been getting a lot of questions on discords, my comment section, places like that about how this deck functions, what the combo lines, stuff like that, trying to figure out what the point of this deck in particular is over other Tri Brigade variants. I thought instead of just coming up with an answer off the top of my head, the easiest way to answer that would be to do a combo guide kind of video. So you guys can see how the deck plays when someone pilots it. So that's what I'm going to be doing here today. Let's just jump right into it. I'm not going to go crazy with the introduction. The first combo we'll be doing is the Appliance or Sock Control plus the Ultra Lyrical World. This is a pretty standard opening for any Appliance or build, really. Um, I'm sure a lot of the Appliance or players in the comments are going to be familiar with these two cards. This is probably the best starting point for any combo tutorial. So, first, what you're going to want to do is you want to activate Ultra Lyrical World. And when you do, that'll allow you to add the copy buckle from your deck to your hand. The reason you do that is because uh, the, the field spell allows you to add appliances from grave back to hand, so you'll be needing to use that mid combo. Uh, next, you'll normal summon the saw control, and then you'll target it with the effect of your copy buckle to special summon it. That will trigger to special summon your socket troll from the deck. We'll overlay the socket troll and the copy buckle for the recital starling. Then you just need to detach one uh, for this. I'm going to be detaching the copy buckle. And while it doesn't come up in this combo specifically, Detaching copy buckle is important because you want to get this back on the field with the name copy buckle instead of sock control so you can do machine dupe combos. So once we detach, we'll search the Tri Brigade Nerval. Uh, we search Nerval first just in case of like Ash Blossom. Uh, maybe your opponent will see a search Nerval or they'll see a search Lyralusk and they'll think to Ash the second. Recital Starling, so this is a good bit of play around it. If they Ash the second one, you can just special summon this from your hand for the combo, and you can still end with a little bit of a board. So we'll search that. But then we'll link the Socket Troll away for the Kappa Scale. And then once we link into the Kappa Scale, Electro Lyrical World will trigger over here. And that'll cause us to... Uh, Add the socket troll back to hand, and then we'll activate the Kappa Scales effect, attributing it to bring back the copy buckle. And then this is where you would use your machine dupe, uh, but we don't have that in our hand, so we'll target the. Well, we won't target. If we control an appliance or monster, we can special summon socket control from our hand, and then we'll overlay once again for. Another Recycle Starling. We'll use her effect, Detaching 1. And that'll allow us to search for the Sapphire Swallow from our deck. So now our hand looks like this, and our board looks like this. Because we control Winged Beasts, we can Special Summon the Sapphire Swallow, as well as one level 1 Winged Beast from our hand. So we can Special Summon S Sapphire, and then we can Special Summon Nerval. And then we'll link the Recital Starling into the Baron Blossom. So we'll play her right there. And because of that, we can now use Nerval's effect, banishing the two Recital Starlings from Grave. And that'll allow us to special summon the Ancient Warriors Oath Double Dragon Lords. So we'll play him right there. Next, what we'll do is we'll overlay the Nerval and the Recital, not the Recital, the uh, Sapphire Swallow for our third Recital Starling. If you don't want to use a Recital Starling, uh, I'm not running it in this build, but you could run um, the 
other rank one Lyralusk, Assembled Nightingale. Uh, she's really good if you have double A Zeus. So if you can uh, run a couple copies of those, you could use her right here. But if you use Recital Starling here, it'll be your third and final copy. But you can detach Nerval to search the DD Crow from your deck. And then you can search Tri Brigade Karis with the effect of Nerval, giving you Karis, DD Crow, as well as this on your board so far. So if you're keeping up, you'll know we haven't used Baron Blossom's effect yet. So we can special summon the Karis from our hand with her effect. Then we can link the Recital Starling and the Baron Blossom together. And we can grab the Samorg link. We'll play him right here for his own sake. Then the Baron Blossom will trigger. This isn't the most important step, but it's always nice to be able to draw a card. And then you can take a look at what you drew, and you can either keep the DD Crow or whatever you drew. Since it's not a hand trap, and we've already done our combo, I'll be grabbing the DD Crow. Next, we'll use Karas's effect. We'll banish three. Doesn't really matter what. In future builds, if there's ever a reason to run Revolt in this specific variant, you'll want to uh, banish the two Tri Brigades so that you can bring them back um, with Revolt to have the most um, value. But here, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just banish three. And then I'll special summon Rugal, the Silver Sheller. And then I'll link Karas and Rugal into the Appaloosa. And then during the end phase, our Samorg link will activate. And we can, we can special summon the Barrier Statue from our deck. Off of two cards, this is our end board. We have special summon lock with the Barrier Statue. Two negates with Appaloosa, targeting protection on the Smorg and the Barrier Statue. And then double Dragon Lords, if you guys don't know. It um, doesn't seem to want to focus. Um, you can send a card from hand or field to grave to bounce an opponent's card back to hand. Uh, in this case, you can send the Appliance or Electro Lyrical World. Or... During your turn, you can send the Barrier Statue uh, to the grave to remove the Wind Lock, allowing you to play through your own Barrier Statue. And um, that's the main end board you're going for. I think it's really good. This is a really powerful end board, in my opinion. If we have Machine Dupe in our hand with our standard opening, we can activate Electro Lyrical World, search the... Well, first of all, if they Ash the Electro Lyrical World here, we just Normal Summon Socket Troll. We activate Machine Dupe. We Special out the other two Socket Trolls. Then we Overlay. Into the Recital Starling. Detach. We'll do our search. We'll just grab Cobalt Sparrow. We'll search to Cobalt Sparrow, it doesn't really matter. And then we can link into the Kappa Scale. Use the Field Spell to add back the Sock Control. Special the Sock Control and then tribute the Kappa Scale to special the other Sock Control. So this is full combo. But if they don't Ash the Electro Lyrical World, you can try and bait the Ash while you play the combo out, and I'll try and show you guys that. Say they don't ash your Electro Lurker World, and they let it go through. You'd grab the Copy Buckle. Normal Summon Sock Control. Special Summon Copy Buckle. Sock Control will trigger. You'll Special Summon the Sock Control. If they ash the Sock Control, again, the Machine Dupe will help you play through that. Most likely game two or three, if they know how your deck functions. Where they'll start to ash is with the the Starling. So you'll detach the copy buckle. Oh whoops, I didn't overlay copy buckle. Okay. 
We'll search the Nerval. We'll link into Kappa Scale. Electro Lyrical World will add back the Saw Control. Then Kappa Scale will tribute to summon back the Copy Buckle. Oh, whoops. I was meant to say they ash the Starling, is what I meant to do. So if they ash the Starling, the first one, because they know where our combo is going, we'll then special summon the Sock Control, activate Machine Dupe targeting the Copy Buckle. Then we'll um, special summon the two Copy Buckle from deck. We'll overlay again. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Hopefully you guys don't see that in post. Overlay. Detach. Then we'll search the Nerval. We'll overlay a third time. Put it up here. Into another Recital Starling. Detach. Search. The... Sapphire Swallow. You'll special summon both. Then you'll link three into the Infinitor uh, Infinitrack Fortress Megaclops. Then you'll use the Nervals effect, banishing two. Here's where we'll summon the Ancient Warrior. Then we'll link these two into Baron Blossom. Nerval's effect will trigger, and we'll special summon, or we'll search the Karas. Baron Blossom will special summon the Karas, and then we will um, use Karas's effect, banishing three again to summon the Simorg right here. And um, this looks a little worse. You have a, a Megaclops, which is huge. Hard to deal with monster. The Double Dragon Lords. You still have the Barrier Statue. And, um... You could make Rugal here if you wanted to. I'm not a huge fan of Rugal, but he does help you recycle. Yeah, this is how the deck plays through Ash. Um, you actually get a slightly different board, but it's quite meaty in comparison. I mean, you end with a Mega Clops in addition to some Morg in the Double Dragon Lords. So this is very good. This deck can play through Hand Traps pretty decently. So I hope I uh, showed that off properly to you guys. I'm sorry, I, I don't do these kind of videos very often. Uh, I mean, at all, this is the first time I've ever done one, so you'll have to cut me some slack. <laughs> Hopefully that cleared up some confusion and you guys understand how the deck functions a little better. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, all that YouTuber nonsense, and I'll see you guys in the next one.